If you have a mobile device, and at this point, who doesn't, you've undoubtedly had questions about the difference between a Wi-Fi internet connection and a cellular internet connection. What these questions usually revolve around is, will this activity that I'm carrying out on my device, will this affect my data plan? What this really boils down to is most people don't have a great understanding between how a cellular internet connection works and how a Wi-Fi internet connection works. Well, fear not, because in today's episode from Network From Home, that's exactly what I'll be diving into. Not only will I be detailing the differences between these two internet connection types, I'll also be providing you with information about which connection type provides better performance. Okay, so let's start with a Wi-Fi internet connection. You'll recognize a Wi-Fi internet connection by this symbol at the top of your device. And what's important to understand is a Wi-Fi internet connection utilizes the router in your home network. Wi-Fi specifically is a protocol for wireless communication between your mobile devices and your router. And because you're using your router to access the internet, you're not using cellular towers. So in other words, any activity that's carried out with a Wi-Fi internet connection, it doesn't go towards your data plan. You won't be using data. It's important to note that Wi-Fi itself is just a mode of communication. It's what your mobile devices use to communicate to your router, but you can access the internet through this method because your router is getting an internet connection from your modem. So basically, your device communicates with your router, your router is connected to your modem, and your modem is connected to the larger internet. So if you're renting your internet equipment from your internet service provider, your modem and router might be combined into one device. For other people, the modem and router are separate devices and they're connected together with an ethernet cable. Let's take a closer look at what a request looks like when you have a Wi-Fi internet connection, just to make sure you have a good understanding of what I'm talking about. Here we are, let's break down what a Wi-Fi internet request looks like. As I mentioned, you have your mobile device here, you have your router and your modem in your home network, they're connected with an ethernet cable, and then your modem is connected to the larger internet through your internet service provider or ISP. So let's say with our mobile device, we wanna make a request to the internet, we wanna pull up a web page. What happens is we type that web page into our internet browser on our mobile device. That request uses Wi-Fi to reach out to our router and make a connection to our router. A router passes that request through the ethernet cable to your modem. Your modem is then wired to your internet service provider. That request goes to your ISP. Your ISP then goes out to the internet to get that website. It then goes, it returns that request to your modem, which then gets passed to your router over the ethernet cable, and then finally over Wi-Fi back to your device. So that's how a request goes from start to finish with a Wi-Fi internet connection. As you can see here, no cellular towers are used, no cell phone network is needed. This is just a connection to the internet from your device to your home network and then out to your internet service provider. Okay, you have a good understanding of Wi-Fi internet connections at this point. Let's dive into cellular internet connections. So the difference here with a cellular internet connection, it is still a wireless connection to the internet but the difference is you're communicating with cell phone towers. So in other words, you're using these cell phone towers, you're using a cellular network. These activities will go towards your data plan. You'll be using data when you perform these activities and you'll identify that you're using a cellular internet connection by a symbol similar to this one on your mobile device. With that said, let's take a closer look at what a request looks like using a cellular internet connection. As you can see here, there's a lot less equipment involved when you're talking about a cellular internet connection. You have your mobile device, you have a cell phone tower, and then that cell phone tower is wired to the larger internet through an internet service provider. So basically what happens here is with your mobile device, you make a request to the internet. Say you wanna to go to a web page, you send that request through the air over a cellular network to a cell phone tower. So instead of our router in our home network, we're communicating with a cell phone tower. What I've tried to indicate here is that this can be a long distance. You could be miles away from the closest cell phone tower, 
So your request goes over the air to that cell phone tower. It then gets passed to the larger internet where it finds that web page you're looking for. It gets returned to the cell phone tower and then the cell phone tower wirelessly sends that out over the cellular network back to your device and then you're able to see that web page. And I wanna reiterate here, because you're using the cellular network to perform this internet activity, these activities count towards your data plan that you have with your cellular provider. Okay, so it seems like there are less steps with the cellular internet connection. Does that mean it provides you with better internet performance? Well, this is a question that I wanted to answer, so I actually did some diving into this myself. What I did is I performed internet speed tests on my 2G Wi-Fi network in my home, my 5G Wi-Fi network in my home, and then I performed that same speed test with a cellular internet connection because I wanted to compare the different bandwidths and speeds that I receive with these different connection types. To be honest with you, the results were quite surprising. With my 5G Wi-Fi network, I got 288 megabits per second of download speed. With my 2G Wi-Fi network, I was able to get 76 megabits per second of download speed. And then the download speed for cellular was quite similar to my 2G Wi-Fi network. I got 74 megabits per second of download speed. And looking at these results, you might be thinking that the 2G Wi-Fi internet connection and the cellular internet connection provide similar internet performance. Unfortunately, that's not the case because there's more than meets the eye here. What I'm talking about is the latency or delay of these internet connections. So with the 2G Wi-Fi internet connection, I got 17 milliseconds of delay, whereas I got more than double that with the cellular internet connection. I got 42 milliseconds of delay. In looking back at the diagrams that I showed earlier, this is quite believable because when you make an internet request with a cellular device, you might have to send that request for miles before it reaches the closest cell phone tower that it uses. In these cases, there are lots of opportunities for delay, and that's why it's pretty believable to me that with a cell phone internet connection, you get a lot more delay. So if you're on a FaceTime call, or if you're gaming, you definitely want to be on that Wi-Fi internet connection because that delay is much lower than that cellular internet connection and you don't want to have any lag in your communications or in the experience that you have. In case you're curious, with the 5G Wi-Fi internet connection, I also got a low latency value. I saw 22 milliseconds of delay with those communications. So in general, we can say when you're using a Wi-Fi internet connection, you'll experience less latency than if you have a cellular internet connection. This is something to consider if you're thinking about getting a modem and router for your home network compared to a mobile hotspot. With that mobile hotspot, you won't get as good internet performance because you're using that cellular network. But at the same time, if you have lower internet needs, it might still be a viable option for you. This is a topic for another video, but just keep in mind here that if you have a preference and you have a choice, you should be using that Wi-Fi internet connection with your mobile device because number one, it doesn't go towards your data plan and number two, you'll get better performance. If this video helped you sort out the difference between Wi-Fi and cellular internet connections, please give it a like. And I'd love to see in the comments section if you perform a speed test of your cellular internet connection and your Wi-Fi internet connection, what different values you're seeing. As always, thanks for watching this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.